easy now. So on the last video, I installed our Wi-Fi chip. And on this video, I have installed a 20 millimeter 3.7 volt fan that takes 0 0.1 amps and it's all wired up and you can see it's running there i managed to wire a switch and enough cable that runs and attaches to the battery in here so if i just whip this off all right you can see the wiring and then it goes through and connects directly to the battery something that i haven't done a video on but i have actually modified is i've taken an o-ring sliced it in half and i've put it on each one of the buttons so when you press the button it's not so clicky um overall the performance of everything seems to be sort of slightly improved the temperatures have been brought down a little bit i need to try and get like a an accurate reading of the temperature of the chips maybe even the frame rates as well i've got some more professional heat sinks coming that hopefully i can swap out because i actually had to make this one myself i don't know if you can see but i cut two in half and then glued the pieces together um, with an additional piece in the center to make it large enough for the chip um yeah so overall super happy with how all these have turned out um i think these are great consoles and they're worth just having a, a faff around so you can learn more about the electronics on it one thing that I have to say is that there's a bit of interference now that the Wi-Fi chips in and um, that could just be the RF frequencies messing the speaker or something. Don't know. Uh, my partner's father in law um, is actually uh, an electrical engineer. So when he comes around, I'll have a chat with him and see if there's anything else that I can do with this. I hope this helps. And if anyone's got any other ideas, then I'm all up for trying them. Um, I've thought about trying to get like a little water block on there, see if I can get some crazy water cooling on. Anyway, let me know what you think and peace.